Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about adding calendars to your website. Now, calendars are great for all kinds of different things. Um, if you had, for example, a dental clinic and you wanted to post your hours, you could put that directly onto your calendar. Um, or if you had like a wedding website, you could put your upcoming event for the bridal party. Okay, so this is the template I've created and we're going to be looking at a template for a daycare center. So to add a calendar, just go to Pages, and then Add Page. And then we'll just head down to Calendar, give it a name, and click Done. So for my daycare center, uh, this calendar would be great for letting parents know about my opening hours, as well as upcoming special events. So you can create a new event by clicking New Event in the top left. So I'll just create an event for a field trip to the Science Center. So here you can input the details of the event as far as time and date. So I'll just say, on the 23rd at 9 a.m. we will go to the Science Center until 12. So right here I would input the address of the event location. So for now I'll just put 111 ABC. And as you can see below, if you want to add a Google Map link, you can just click this little checkbox. So in the text box below, if you have an external link to add for the event, you can put that in here. Um, like for example, if you had a Facebook page, you can input that right here. So you can fill out the rest of this here as you please. And if you want to allow visitor comments on the event, you can just click Allow Visitor Comment. Now I'm going to save the event. So here's the event I just created. So I'm just going to create one more event for the daycare opening hours. Okay, so I'm going to start the event on January 1st. So my hours will be from 9 until 6 p.m. Uh, so I'll just set this portion to the same day. Uh, so for example, if I want to repeat this event during the week, I'll just need to click on this box here and then go to repeat weekly. Now we've also got the other options here, but for this specifically, I'll use weekly. So I'll repeat every one week and on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, those are my hours. So this tool can be useful, for example, if you had a sports team and you wanted to let the players know about consistent upcoming practices. And then we'll just save her. So let's change our calendar settings. Okay, so we can change our time zone and set it to wherever we are. I'll be in Honolulu. And our language as well. We'll keep that in English. So there's some social media options down here. You can allow your visitors to add the event to their Google Calendar, uh, tweet it, or like the event. So you can choose to approve your comments automatically or manually. Um, if you choose manual, you'll just need to input a email address and you'll receive notifications on that email address when someone comments on the event. And then hit save. So we'll just go back to calendar settings. Here you can make changes to the style of your calendar. Uh, for the title you can change the color, the size or the font type and then you can also change the theme color. hit save. Alright, so I'll take you to the preview of my calendar. So this is what a visitor would see when they click on an event on my calendar. So that's it for calendars. Thanks for watching this video guys. We hope to see you soon.